Hey guys, this is Arian and welcome back to our channel. In the previous videos, we have discussed how we can create a form for our new contacts and how we can set up an onboarding appointments for them. Now in this tutorial, we will discuss how we can create an automation through which our new contacts will receive a link to book their own appointments once they submit the form. So we will head to automation on the left. Then you will see plenty of templates through which you can navigate and choose from them or you can head to this plus sign to create from scratch. However, I'm just gonna select one of these templates. So as we said before, we want that once our customers or our new contacts uh, submit a form, they receive an email which contains the link to our booking or to our meeting. So I will choose free consultation because it provides what I want. When a public form is submitted, then send email. So I will choose it and I'm going to click on select and customize. And here we go. So the trigger that I'm going to set is once a public form is submitted. And in this form, I will choose tutorial one that I have created in the first video. Then I will send immediately an email which contains hi contact first name. I hope you're doing well and to the rest of the email. So this mail is going to be sent and I will just make a, s a small uh, edit on it. I will just delete these few words and I will write please book your onboarding meeting from here. And now I will place the link. And I, I don't have to just exit and go back to, our, to my own appointments and copy the link. I can just go to this agenda icon, click on it, and choose the link I want. So I will choose the onboarding meeting link, and here we go. So now I'm going to click on next, and I'm going to choose to send it immediately. Now the next step is going to be added through this plus sign, and I will choose to send an email as a reminder. So I will just write this is a reminder and I will insert the link again. Then I'm going to choose to send this email delayed after two days from the first email. So I will just write two here and I'm going to click on next. Finally, there is a small step, which is the stop step. In stop, you want to stop the sequence once a specific action happens. So of course, if my contact here on the first email have already signed or have already booked his own appointment, I will not have have to send him a reminder because he have already he has already booked an appointment. So I will just add the stop here and I will choose when public form is submitted. So if tutorial one form is submitted, then the other sequence of actions will not happen. So, of course, I will just um, go to this step, then immediately an email will be sent. Then, after the contact has signed or has, has booked his own appointment, then the stop will be activated and he will not receive a reminder. Now, I can preview my automation and I have here an alert. And this alert is saying that the stop cannot be the start of the automation because, because of course once this public form is submitted the automation will end before it starts so here i have made a mistake i have adjusted the stop as once a specific form is submitted instead of once a specific appointment is scheduled so i will go to this stop and delete it and now i'm going to click on add again and instead of choosing public form is submitted i will choose appointment is scheduled and I'm going to choose onboarding. Now I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds to resolve the problem. And I don't know why it did not update the email here. I will just fill the required space. Let's just name reminder. And I'm going to click on next and choose to be delayed. And now it's ready to go. So now I don't have any errors. Once I click on publish, my automation will be activated. And now I will have to insert some details to start 
a broadcasting emails like business email and so on and so forth that once they are completed you will be all ready to go and your own automation will be all set so that's how easy you can use keep crm and that's it for this video guys so if you like th this tutorial leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more business and crm tools thank you guys so much for watching and see you in future tutorials until then take care and have a beautiful day